A bad smile is not the first thing that comes to mind when I hear the word Russian, and not even the second. My countrymen, or any other speakers of the Russian language for that matter, are not known for being particularly smiley. However, we are known for being harsh, overly straightforward, or just plain rude. And if I don't want to be held accountable for rudeness, I do want to explain why Russian speakers, including myself, don't really like smiling. Without further ado, let's get started. Russians do like smiling. As a matter of fact, we do that fairly often. Of course, not as often as German, the French, Brits, or especially Americans. You will never see a Russia smiling at a store counter or showing off their teeth when speaking to a stranger on the street. If you come to a Starbucks in Moscow, don't expect a barista to be smiling. It's not a matter of rudeness or you doing something wrong. No, it's not. However, I digress. Like I said, we do smile. However, we prefer doing so only with the people we know and like. If a person smiles at a stranger, it might be considered insincere, hypocritical, or just rude. Yeah, reasonless smiling is considered rude among Russians. You might even get into trouble if you smile at a police officer or any other official, because to them, you're not being nice, you're being suspicious. Let me tell you a story. Once a friend of mine wanted to practice his spoken English, so he asked me to talk to him. I started asking him about his weekend plans, his family visit, and all this jazz. The second I looked at his face, I saw him staring at me, almost scared. I asked him what was the matter, to which he replied, in Russian of course, это самая фальшивая улыбка, которую я когда-либо видел. The thing is that I did not even smile. I spoke English. So, you see, in Russia, you only smile if you mean it, if you care. One of the reasons for that is our culture. There is even a proverb, смех без причины – признак дурачины, which means laughing without a reason is a full straight. One cannot laugh without smiling, so, well, you get the point. However, there is another reason than some proverbs, culture, or just being sincere. Russians, surprise, speak Russian. Russian is an East Slavic language with a rather peculiar phonetic system. You see, there is a clear distinction between palatalized soft and not palatalized hard consonant sounds. You may not mistake one for another because your partner might not be able to understand you. For example, mama, meme, kon, kony. Another prominent feature of the Russian phonology is a lack of distinction between long and short vowel sounds. Both mama and mama would sound identical to us, as well as sit and seat, dip and deep, and, well, other words. You have no idea how many jokes we have about that. So the thing is, to make a distinction between the short e and a long e, one actually has to make a little smile. A smile is not just you stretching the corners of your mouth and showing off your teeth. Oh no, it's so much more. Anatomically, it means that your facial and neck muscles are stretching, tensing, and relaxing. And do you know what happens when you tense and relax your muscles for an extended period of time? Yeah, they get toned. Obviously, if you don't, your muscles don't as well. And that is what happens to Russians. As our language does not make us smile, well, we don't. Thus, smiling for longer periods of time becomes physically uncomfortable. Hence the culture. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and share this video with your friends. Have a nice day, and see you later!